There we go. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to uh, to today's stream, which was uh, delayed about a day. <laughs> um, yeah, I did manage to mess up my calendar, which is why I'm now streaming Wednesday, well, just this week, rather than my normal spot on Tuesday. Um, but uh, of course, that will return back to normal. Um, I just quickly here before we go into the um, the main part of the live stream, I just quickly want to uh, to show you guys the uh, the ship that has been named the Lance a lot, which is the mining python, and uh, when you see the build, it will make sense. Maybe due to all the mining lances on the ship, um, but that thing is done as well, and uh, there will hopefully be uh, some kind of video guide up on uh, up on that. Um, Hopefully in the not too distant future. Um, there seems to be a lot of interest in that. But anyway, I just quickly wanted to uh, to show that off. But what we're doing today, and I need to jump into my ship down here, is I'm beginning the um, the work on a um, on an anti thargoid anaconda, and I have Emsulus with me here, and we're gonna head down and uh, we're gonna get some. Um, some materials at the guardian structures to unlock some modules that I haven't unlocked yet. And again, I just want to um, show you the build here, or at least the ship. I've taken my pirate anaconda and I've decided to refit that for um, um, for Thargoid hunting. So I'm going to keep the name, the Blood Diamond, because I actually really like that name. Uh, but yeah, the goal for... Um, for today, if we head into outfitting, is uh, if you go into a hard point, you can see I have two empty hard points here. I already have the Guardian uh, Ghost Rifles um, down here underneath the ship, but the two large hard points on top of the ship, they need Guardian Shot Cannons. But I do not have those unlocked yet. So um, that's not Cartography data, no, neither is a Crew Lounge. So that's the point today, and we have them here, the Guardian Cow Guard Guardian Shard Cannons Fixed, Class 3, those are the ones I want. And as you can see here, I need some uh, Guardian Technology Components, and then we need some Microcontrollers. Um, but I'm going to get over in my uh, Camera Conda, there it is. So, Ebsplus, do you know which place is closest? I mean, we don't need any... Uh. You don't need to do the actual pylons, so we can just go to whatever is closest. Yeah, I don't... I have no idea. <laughs> I just pick one of the lists that's on the wiki page. Yeah, I have one bookmarked, which... let's see how far away that is. You're in Shinrata, right? I'm in Shinrata, 748 light years. It's that's not close. too far. Yeah. See now I can't copy the name. Um, I'll have to post it to you manually. Have to type this out manually. No, no, it's fine. I'll just pause the stream. I guess. So Mufe EU dash Q space C twenty one dash ten. Let me. A second. I'll just pause the stream and type it, like... Okay, you got it? On stream? Yep, got okay. it. Then I can uh, <laughs> go away from the screen. <laughs> That's the most janky way. Oh no! Your logo is in front of the last number. What is it after 10. 3? 23? Or 21? It's... Oh, after the C, it's 21. 21, dash, and that's it? That's 10. Dash 10, okay. Your logo's above that one. Oh, Couldn't okay. read it. Say that it doesn't show that I'm streaming. It hopefully does, unless I manage to... No, well, stream is public. That's weird. Anyway... I uh, oh I haven't lost my video today. Oops. Now I'm gonna head out and um, then we'll take it from there, I guess. So Fair enough. Women are asked, so we'll be doing some god killing the next few days. I 
I, uh, I guess so. That's the next few days. I mean, it depends how quickly I can, uh, can actually finish the build. Oh, yeah, of course. One second. Oh, am I being turned down? Yeah. Oh. Okay, turned you down to 75%. Let's see if that's better. Is that better? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know in, uh, in the chat if this. Why did I? I managed to open my cargo uh, scoop instead of lowering or, or retracting my landing gear. That's why I'm not really moving anywhere. Um, oh. Okay, some people say that it doesn't show me uh, streaming, but uh, I don't think it, from. I'm not sure. I've, I think I've done everything correct, at least on my end. Let me just check this. When I log into on a. In uh, on what platform is it? Should I check it? Is it on YouTube? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll quickly show you guys here. See, when I open up the the channel in Cognito mode, it does show that I'm live now. So I'm pretty sure it's it work. It might just be on uh, on on one of you guys, and maybe something's up with YouTube that is not really. Maybe some of the servers haven't figured out that I'm live yet. I think there were some recent changes as well with the whole like membership stuff and everything. Yeah, but Maybe that screwed something up. But memberships are memberships is what they call sponsors before. Yeah, they just because sponsors, the name, sponsorships right? and was just a mess to use that as a term on YouTube because sponsorship is already used as a term when you do sponsored videos. That is a sponsorship. Is Discord still much louder. Okay, I can turn down the desktop volume in general, see if that's any better. Test, 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 test. test. One, two, one, two. Try to say something again, Angelus. Hello, hello. One, two, one, two. Yeah, now at least on the on the audio meters here, you're peaking much, much lower than, uh, than I am. So, at least approximately the same height. I hope we got it now. How many jumps was this? Actually, 11 jumps. Uh, but yeah, while we're just traveling here, I think I will just quickly open up uh, so we can run over the build. And I should say that um oh good question here why do you use the anaconda so much because i love the anaconda it's basically the swish army knife in elite it it's it just that insane does amount everything. of it, it just, just does everything it does it fairly well i mean there might be other ships that are that could do better or similar but I just really love the Anaconda. I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up using the Anaconda, but I might have to like maybe I'll switch over the weapons and then end up building uh, something completely different. Yeah, because I guess so. I think, I think two of the rail guards they are only medium size, right? They are, yeah. So you can you can just switch over most of the apartments except for like the 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 hall because that's the. Sh uh, ship specific stuff yeah but... yeah but I might want to I might have to go and try and do the exact same build as I have here on let's say a Corvette for instance yeah fair enough I mean, then we get the extra maneuverability um, but I'm not sure how this shield is in the Corvette compared to the Anaconda uh, I think it's pretty similar the issue with the Corvette is it only Apart from the four experimental slots, it only has one slot for the flag launcher. 
So you either have to resynthesize ammo or you have to be really good at aiming. If you run out eventually. Yeah, hold on. Let me just quickly get this over so people can follow along here. So if we take an anaconda, we can see we have those four hard points are used for our experimentals. And then what we still have four medium or small uh, hard points left on the anaconda. I can't even remember what I fitted on it. Let's find the fit built here. Uh, where is it? I ah, yeah, two remote flag launchers and two beam lasers. Right? Yep. But if I move over to the Corvette, double Corvette, we would use those four. Are we could still. No, wait, remote flag is medium? Uh, it's medium sized. So yeah, that's, just... yeah see, that's a problem. The thing is, uh, except the side. Uh, Against the Cyclops, it's totally fine. I tend to only use one when I started as well. Hmm. But on bigger stuff like Basilisks or anything, where the swarm size really starts to screw with you if you don't deal with it fast, having yeah. multiple flag launches definitely helps. Yeah, exactly. Um, people asking if I'm going to publish the Python mining build. Yes, that will be published at some point, uh, hopefully soon. Um, so yeah, but okay, so if you see, if I put, if I use those four slots for the experimentals, then I only have one medium slot left for, uh, for the flag. So what about the cutter? Cutter's great. It's my favorite one, but I think it's hard to get into because the maneuverability is just absolute garbage. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have any small hard points, which are more or less uh, yeah, it's pure uh, useless. Yeah, medium large. Wow, I'm getting what the hell? I'm just getting some frame rate drops here. Maybe I should actually refuel on this star. Doesn't look like it's showing up on screen. It's just on. Okay, that happened last time as well. Uh, stream delete. Uh, you are in solo. Oh, yeah. Forgot to switch over. And we can do it once we're there. Oh, no. I got too close. So this star's not scoopable. That's gonna be an issue. That happens if you don't turn... If you turn orbit lines off. <laughs> I can see it under radar. That's okay. Uh, I'll just yeah, have to sure. wait for the FSD to cool down. You're gonna take the quick way home after that? Self-destruct? I'm probably gonna fly. To be honest. I need a little bit more room for the... There we go. How's okay. the crate? Um... It's true that people are posting here that, uh, that the card at least can outrun and kite a basilisk, that's true, but it's not the point. We're not here to kite. Well, I guess you could I mean, kite them if you want to. <laughs> Sorry? Eventually, we are. Eventually, kiting is the most easy way to deal with them. Yeah. But the cutter could work. I mean, that it has the, the hard point layout, right? So you have the... Those four would be reserved for the experimentals, and then you would get two mediums reserved for... Um, um, for the flag, and then you have a single medium left for your lasers. But again, on the anaconda, we have a two smalls, and I do believe that two small healing beams are better than a single medium. Fair enough. So I, I mean, at least if we're purely look at looking at weapon loadout, um, then the anaconda is definitely the best choice. But again, if you have the cutter, you pretty much have unmatched shields because of their large uh, large amount of shields. Yeah. So the 
two most important things if you want to fight basilisks, at least to my experience, is shields and speed. And of course, weapon loadout. You need the but if it's shield and speed, right then the cutter hands. would probably be a good choice. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's probably the best one to do it, but it's going to be hard to get into it with the cutter because aiming yeah. so hard with it. Yeah, because of the poor maneuverability. Yeah. And it's not going to help when we're going to slap a whole heap of armor on it either. <laughs> No. <laughs> I mean, uh, I I did it, so I started with an anaconda. Uh, because it's just a lot more user friendly, I'd say, and you can easily take down cyclops with it. There should be no issues. They're really not too hard once you get get in the hang of it. But yeah, but, basilisk got a bit of once, a different. Once, once you've got that that fleet up and running with four ships with four shark cannons each. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to try that out. I've only seen the Xbox DVR video. Yeah, yeah I, want to, just, I want to try that as well. But I want to build a proper ship and try to do it the quote unquote right way first, and then we can do it the silly way afterwards. <laughs> and then there will be an exploit video. <laughs> Insta killing Thargoids. 80 million an hour? Question <laughs> mark. No clickbait in brackets. <laughs> Hashtag no clickbait. But yeah, that's why I ended up with the Anaconda. Um, both to get the maneuverability because we are using a ton of fixed weapons and it's just a good all round ship. And we have so many internal slots in the Anaconda that uh, we can pretty much just, well, put plenty of armor on it and the shields are not bad either. Um, so again, it's a balancing act. Fighter hangers, not the fighter hangers now. In theory, you can just try them out and decide which one you're gonna think is best because most of the parts are interchangeable. Yeah, I mean, power plant thrusters, then. maybe not the frame shift drive, I can't remember. But those are the same. You see here, cutter, where's the cutter? So Carter's internals is oh, okay. So it has eight thrusters, but it still has okay. So the power plant can be changed over, and that's about it. <laughs> okay, only <laughs> power plants can be changed over, and then of course all the weapons, all the uh, armor, whatever the imagex shields, saw bank, uh, shield boosters. Yeah, but not shields because the anaconda. Has a 7A prismatic, and I would probably put an 8A prismatic on uh, on a cutter. True, yeah. But I mean, uh, have you ever built like a combat cutter? No. Oh, okay, because I was. The cutter is a mining a... ship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> but no, uh, what I meant is. It's not. I mean, the shield itself, it's only a single upgrade, right? Stuff you have yeah, to yeah, do yeah. multiple of, like hull reinforcements and shield boosters. That's a real pain to engineer. That could be, that could be a complete interchange, that's right. So, I mean, it, it wouldn't be a complete build from scratch like we're doing now. It would probably be a lot easier. Um, people are asking if we're going to use any Guardian stuff. Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, let me show you that real quick here. Um, here's the build, and I'll try to zoom in a bit so you can see. So we're gonna have some Guardian Ghost Cannons, some Guardian Shard Cannons, um, of course, as weapons. Um, I've decided to go with some Guardian uh, Module Reinforcement Packs. Um, I can't remember why I decided to go with those. Are they better than the normal ones? The module reinforcements, they have more integrity. Oh yeah, they have so high, the way, higher integrity, yeah. Yes, but they have the same percentage. Like, you're doing a shield build, right? So, I mean, in theory, your shields won't, will never go down. That is the plan, at least. So that's why two so. shield cell banks, to give us hit points. Um, but, here's the interesting one. Look at that, the Guardian power distributor here. And that's because, if we look at the total power consumption of the ship, Oh, why did it go up to 104%? I was sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. If we disable the cargo hatch, <laughs> there we go. If I disable the cargo hatch, I use 103.4% of my power plant's power, 
and with a Guardian power distributor, like we have here, we can use, we get 4% extra power output, which is exactly what we need to make this ship fly without having to uh, disable a one of the shield cell banks and then online it when the other one's empty or something like that. No Guardian shield reinforcements, no. No Guardian shield, okay, look at this. I could put in some Guardian shield reinforcements, but the problem is that they use power, if I recall correctly, which the hull reinforcements does not. You can see we already tied on power, so we're gonna, we're gonna have to find that power somewhere else. That's one thing. The second thing is it gives a flat bonus to shield. So if I put one on here, I would get less than... I would get... What do we, how much do we get? 200 and something? Hit points? Yeah, 250 on a 5 on yeah. the biggest one. So I would gain about 5% increase in shield for fitting one. And that would mean that I would have to find the power somewhere else. And we'll have to downgrade something, which would most likely be shield boosters. And I don't think that's going to be, uh, be a good trade-off. So, yeah, I would really have loved to put some in there, but we simply just do not have the power to do it. This is a very power-hungry build with all those uh, heavy-duty uh, <laughs> heavy <-duty> shield boosters. <laughs> just eating our power. It's pretty insane. Whenever I dock on, with the cutter on a planet, it just takes four or five minutes for the shield to fully recharge while docking. On Pretty willing full set, lightning bolt from the target would basically nullify your shields. Uh, sorry? People just are arguing that the that the, the lightning thingy will nullify the shield. And that yeah, the that's true. Pulled. But there's a pretty reliable way to dodge that laser. Mm. So, or the, the lightning. So whenever... He only uses it once, and then he'll... So after you shoot down this first heart, he uses it once. Then he'll go into the cycle, he'll try to get close to you, zap you, then shoot you a bit, and then fly away for like a few seconds, and then repeat the cycle. So he'll only use that laser once in the cycle, so whenever you realize he's just been flying away, you just quickly boost, uh, boost past him, and while, when you are outside of like 800 meters, he'll you're out of range of that thing, so you'll trigger it, but you'll pretty much avoid any damage. Hmm. At least that's how I've been dealing with the Basilisk. And I need to say a thank you to, I think it was Seven, for the uh, 5 euro donation. Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. Oh. Dunkel Aura says, is it true that Thargoids do not care about resistance? Yes, they do uh, absolute damage, much like the... Um, um, plasma accelerators. That means that they uh, completely ignore resistance. As far as I'm aware, I'm aware. Which is also why, if we jump into the build, you will see that everything here is high cap and super capacitor, the heavy duty super capacitor, heavy duty super capacitor, all the way. We're just getting hit points, and the shields here, prismatics, of course, with reinforced high cap shields, just get as many hit points out of this thing as we possibly can. And then just face tank it. Well, not, maybe not face tank it, but at least... Hopefully we can take, take that down before it dies. I'm waiting at the site. Yeah, I am... jumping into the system now. As soon as I'm in uh, in system, I'm gonna jump over. <laughs> Jesus, your last night I put all real guns on an anaconda. It was glorious. <laughs> Cockpit firework. Yeah, I'm about to say, F pull the trigger and you're instantly cooking yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Guardian structure, right? Yep. Just quickly gonna jump over to the uh, private group. Heat sinks were required. Really? We haven't lived until you one shot that icon does with torpedoes. <laughs> ah, yeah. 
fire two uh, reverberate cascade torpedoes followed by uh, two uh, quote unquote normal torpedoes and then uh, <laughs> watch them try <laughs> watch them suffer The proper says, hey, just got confirmation that I found a bug. A Thargoid bug or a game is broken bug? Is there a difference? <laughs> yes, I guess. Okay. Even ask what system we're in. We are in Sunofe, whatever, whatever, whatever. One of the guardian structures. Five is all it takes. It's on the dark side of the planet, or at least in like a crater. Wonderful. You can see the light side over there. But. Yeah. And the rest of the live stream is going to be me trying to land an anaconda somewhere close. <laughs> was that a wing invite? I think it was. Yep. Oh, coming in a little faster, I think. We can try something out. You're looking for technology components, right? Yeah. You want to confirm? Because I think, yeah. Uh, it happened to me once, but I really don't know if that was just like a really weird coincidence or if the thing actually worked. Yeah, if they are persistent? Yeah, at least uh, the non pillar ones. Oh, I'm going to drop out. Way, way far out. Oh, I saw you though. That looked cool. Ah, I just act not that bad. 20 kilometers out. Though I can't boost, so... And <laughs> Lord Wolf <laughs> says, Exciting landing live stream. Stay tuned. <laughs> Can you see my lasers? Nope. Ah. Uh. You know what I'll do? I'll take the, uh, take the fighter out. <laughs> you have a fighter in the Explorer Anaconda? It's, it's, my, oh, no. cam it's my camera counter. Right. And then we're gonna ask the helm to follow me. <laughs> yeah, no boost in the camera counter. You see lasers? Lasers? You see your ship. Oh! <laughs> you see mine? Down at the guardian structure. Nope. Oh yeah, I see it now. Up! Oh. Okay, no, that hurts. <laughs> I think your sh your legs oh, a little. Oops. <laughs> okay, I need to find a good landing spot. I wonder if you could get it down over here. That looks bad. Well, not like with your fighter. That'd be actually really cool if your fighter had. But then again, what do you want to do with a docked fighter, right? Um, there was a pretty even space over here where I've parked. So if you want to, I can move it a little. I think I spotted something that I'll try to use. Because that one was fairly central. Uh, request docking. Request docking? Yeah. Gotta get my fighter back. Oh. I thought you wanted <laughs> request dock on 
Guardians. And wait for the Guardians to uh, to reply. <laughs> Suddenly, like a giant pad comes out of the ground. Yeah. I can't reverse again. My. Okay, we're gonna need some lights for this. See, that looks fairly flat to me. That's a small spot. Damn it, there it is. Got it! Only half a kilometer away. <laughs> yeah, basically parked right outside the doorstep. Whee! Hello. Clunk. <laughs> <laughs> and you basically landed inside the, yeah. the base. I have some point defense on there, so in case we need to fight those annoying gamers. Okay, but I'm gonna... Nah, I'm too close to a ship, I can't deploy my... Uh... Oh, oh. My that turret. might be an issue, yeah. Nah, I'm just gonna move to the other side of the structure. There should be some panels up here as well. It's on the other side. Guardian power conduit and more power conduits. Yeah, you're shooting the panels on the wall, or yeah. Okay, because yeah, as I said, the theory maybe it's worth trying out. Yeah, if, if I find something that's on the wall that has technology component, then I'm gonna pick it up. Also, then we're gonna try to uh, relock. Yeah. Relock and try and do it again. Ancient urn. I think there used to be something around here. The the urns, I think they're used for the Ramtar mission and the, the old. What was his name? The the, the guy yeah. from Maya. Well, I was just looking for more uh, more panels to shoot. I have one over here. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna take this yeah, tower. Power cell. Hey, technology components. Nice. 
In the tower? Yeah, the tower. And there should be one here as well. And the power cell. Why is the music getting music getting all tense? Not here. Oh there's a sentinel. Just looking at me <laughs> like it. Oh yeah, I can see it in the radar. Just scan this totem while we're here. <laughs> People are saying that was a pro landing. It was a very small landing spot. There's not a lot of room there. And R2B says hello. Hello. I think there's a tower over here too. That the uh, chasm R2D2. Uh, bad jokes. Mm -hmm. Are you on top of my game today? Jay asks, are we near Maya? We're pretty much, well, not as far away from Maya as we can get, but, but if you take the bubble, we pretty much moved in the opposite direction. So no, we are nowhere near Maya. My guess is we are about, I don't know, 1100, 1200 light years from Maya. Something like that, yeah. Oh, what about this? Does this one have anything? <laughs> Are you shooting skimmers? Yeah, there's a second one. My ship. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Don't Laura just posted the system. Yeah, that's the right system. Okay, I'm gonna try to relock and do these. Uh... I got a technology component over here if you want it. Oh, what is it you're looking for again? Uh, nothing that's around here. Need the patterns. Oh. Yeah, okay. But we should be able to find that in another structure in the same system, right? Yeah. Another and I mean structure. that's only for the that's only for the uh, power plant, which I'm not too keen about. No. I don't necessarily need it. The only thing I do want is the power distributor. Yeah, the power distributor is actually okay. Yeah, I guess a little extra power could save a day. Uh where are you? Over here. Uh, to yeah, that way. <laughs> you moved down the mountain. Yep, I got shot down the mountain. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whee! It's supposed to be a car, right? Not a ship. Yeah, dog losses. This is not a good place for uh, for data. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's not. But we're gonna go and move and get data later, I guess. If do you need it? If necessary, I, don't. I always need. I need some um, some epsilon data. Okay, yeah. Did you find the uh, like a door thing, extractable? Mm, no. So you want to relock? Yeah, I'm gonna board up. Do this again. Let's go back to the prey. Oh. Waiting countdowns. Good. Yay. I'm gonna main menu. 
Me too. Okay, help it back in. See what these oh. panels. Oh no, that's your ship. <laughs> Was about to say there's two other people here suddenly. Yeah, it looks like the panels are persistent. Oh, the fucking skimmer respawn. Come over and help you shoot it. Haha! <laughs> I can't hit for shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that looked awesome from my point of view. <laughs> Whee! Okay, gotta go back to my towers and do those again. Oh, while I'm here, let's just take that uh, obelisk. What happens if you land on top of a pillar before it extends? I guess you're gonna get pushed up. Haven't I showed you the picture of my anaconda that uh, landed on top of one of those yeah. pillars? <laughs> yeah, right, I remember. <laughs> okay. That's unfortunate though that there's no power conduit you need. No, there's a technology component. Maybe we want to try if the towers are persistent. Guardian power cell. Then I should get at least one technology component from this one over here as well. See if I do that. Okay, I did actually. So I got technology component from that one there. Okay. So they are persistent. I'm not sure. Seems like it, at least. Power cells. Whee. Did you take the last tower over here? I did, yeah. There was nothing in there. At no. least not. I mean, there was stuff in there, but no technology uh, stuff. Oh, okay. I'm picking it up anyway. Okay, I'm gonna board up again. Timers. Yay, timers. Then I ask, what kind of ship are we building? We're building an anaconda right now. It might not be the ship we're gonna go with in the end. But um, at some point, we'll, we'll figure out what we're going to go use. Oh, I'm back in. Did, it, did you log out? Yeah, but you went to solo. Oh, old habits. At least that's not my thing. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, I need to get in. Where the hell am I? Oh, I spotted the panel. I really dislike those sentinels. Luckily, I don't need to farm them. <clears throat> Neither do I. Yeah, but I hope someone in chat feels like <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, he hasn't wrote, written anything for a while. Maybe he left. I think the towers are persistent as well. Oh, that's pretty good. I wasn't sure. I always... I think I just lost track of him. I can't remember how many technology components do we need? Uh, 28? I don't know. <laughs> I, I should guess have written this if, down. If you get, yeah, if you get 30, it should be more than enough. Oh, there's there a go. panel on top here. Alpha, I don't need Alpha, I need Epsilon. Epsilon data is a pain to get for some reason. Yeah, I need, I'd need it as well, I think. But if we really want to get that, we should go to one of the normal structures. And yeah, they are definitely persistent, I think. Nice. I haven't written it down, but I think it is. At least the stuff you need is persistent, right? Yeah. I'm gonna do one more trip, I think. And one more. I'm gonna jump back into our on the, the private group. Uh, yeah, Guardian Technology I Report. I have 37. And if I could take one more, I will get six more. At least with the run that I'm doing here. Um, so, yeah. That's 43. Should be okay. Question is if I should get a little bit extra because if I need technology components for something else, I'll probably need like 30 again. Sure. Can you try to locate a site with them. Um, uh, I can try, of, yeah. With other obelisks. If I, yeah, if I remember correctly, one of the. Uh, mm -hmm. Where is that? Not. Those. Let me let me Google. Ancient ruins. Should be there. It is. And it drops power cut. Come on, pick it up. Such a good thing. There's one like 80 light years away. Okay, let's go for that. Mm -hmm. you can't target. Oh, you can't target it because I'm in an SMB. Makes sense. And power cells. Okay. Where are we at? Ah, okay. I think I know where we are. Is, uh, is right. I should probably get enough for another unlock in case I need one more at some point. Sure. Why can I not 
target this. Okay. Now I can target. Delta data. Let me delta data. I can't remember did they change it so that you only get one now? Uh, not on those, if I remember. Is that? I'm not sure. Is that the uh, the orb? When you scan it, you only get one. Yes, yes, you do. You only get a single scan when you scan the big orb of the weird puzzle. Guardian Central weapon parts are the rarest, I believe. Uh, need those for plasma charges. Let me see. I think I'm actually okay on uh, Guardian Sentinel weapon parts. Yeah, I have 123. <laughs> <laughs> Should be just about Should enough. Should be fine. I think I'm good. That's 43. Mm. Mm, no, I haven't unlocked any. There's a lot of the modules that I haven't unlocked yet. Um, simply just because I don't know, never really had the, the need for it. I mean, I've unlocked. Obviously the Guardian FSD booster, I have the Guardian uh, power distributor, the power plants. I think the hull or the mo I have module reinforcements, yeah. I see Guardian Central Wreckage components, let's see that, how that looks. Hmm. Guardian Sentinel Wreckage component is 60, which should still be plenty. Uh, are we up here? Oh yeah, here it is. Oh, there's that. Yeah, that's the top the panels. Let's do that. Stop. Hey, it had technology. Huh. What did you find? Now, if you get close enough to the surface. With your missile launcher, you can launch through the surface. So it'll just fly into a planet. Dungle, yes, I believe Gauss, Gauss cannons should be unlocked. Little bit. Oh, okay. No, here I am. Here I am. So oh, this one should give a technology component. It does. I might have fucked up. Why? Oh. Okay, never mind. You got stuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm in my ship. <laughs> Try to wedge myself through. There was like the little gate in the beginning, yeah. and then the like entrance, and just try to fly through it. Didn't quite work out. Oops. 
Poggy112, thanks a lot for the subscription on YouTube. Let's take a look at the platform. Uh, okay, I've already been there. Ah, okay. Are you an open? No, solo. Okay. Definitely persistent. Um, yeah. Let's do one more loop. So right now I should have 49, if I recall correctly. Whoops. So out oh, up here. If I do two more trips, I'll get twelve on top of the forty nine. That should put me whoops over sixty. Is that a panel? It is a destructible panel. Are you shitting me? What happened? Ah, got it. It just got stuck on the structure, it didn't. Uh. <laughs> the the technology the dropped technology components, but it uh, didn't uh, leave the like compartment it was in. Mm -hmm. Oh, it got stuck, I see. <laughs> okay, so we should get technology components from this one. Oops. Don't forget the cargo scoop. And no, there we go. I'm gonna scan this for data. Those missiles are a pretty good way to determine how far something is away on the surface from your current location. Because you just fire them and target them and you can see how far they are away until it explodes. I didn't look where I was at. Guardian. We're at 58 now. So one more trip and I'm ready to move out to the next location. Gotta jump into the private group. I'm gonna hope that the towers are active or not been destroyed yet. Soul Brothers Gaming, hello and welcome. Oh, I start right in front of a tower. Lovely. Which tower is this? I think this is the tower that does not give us anything. Oh, I hear shooting. That would be me. Put some action in there. <laughs> Are you in your ship? No. <clears throat> I right, can't that. shoot those panels in the ship, though. It is this one that gives me technology controllers. There it is. What missiles is that? Ah. <laughs> The, the Guardian missile, the AX missile, because they have a lot more ammo than the normal ones. Mm. And I intend to use them if there's like scouts flying around. 
Uh, why is your anaconda harmless? Because there's no one in it. Oh. Well, that's a little stupid, isn't it? Camera conda. <laughs> very, very creative with that. Very creative. Yeah, with the ship names. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Sentinel. Oh, wow. Ah! Where's the Sentinel? I will help you. I think Can't I spotted see. one over here. Wait, did that thing just activate? It did? Did you shoot it with a missile? I think I shot it with a missile. <laughs> Wait. Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta try that. <laughs> hold on, let me, let me shoot another one. There's the two next to... I'll shoot those. <laughs> you can actually oh. charge it. Yes, you can. I, I'm not sure if I can activate the mini ship. If I get close enough. Try to just shoot it, even though it's not uh, not uh, active. And uh, where are the spawns in this one? Um, there's one here. Follow me. Can you see me? Uh, shoot. Oh yeah, I see ya. Oh. Is it down here? No, don't shoot me. Nee, 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 nee. I can't remember if it's here. No, it's not. I yeah, think least... once... How many do we have? Five? Three? There's one out here, I know. One's probably over here, right? Oh yeah, there's supposed to be one. Let's see. Doesn't extend if I'm only there in my ship. They don't. No, but hold on. No, like they don't extend and I can't activate them while they're not while I'm in my ship. Okay, but if I come over here and I extend it, <laughs> that's it, right? Ah, oh. uh, there's a skimmer. Hold on. No, that was not it. Hey, point defense, what are you doing? Don't... Skimmer down? No, no, it's still alive. Oh, why is it down there? Hold on. Go down and kill it. Can't aim for shit with those missiles. Not doing any damage to it. I managed to kill one earlier. Just do a direct hit. Oh, okay, you can ram it too. Did it take damage? No. <laughs> it doesn't take any damage. Now it's this. Explosions. That's one, two, three. One's probably way over there. You actually want to complete it? <sighs> I don't need to. No, me neither. Okay, yeah, then screw it. Hold on. I am a tiny bit stuck. Wait, you just charged the pilot, didn't you? Energy pilot charging? Did I? Yeah, you did. Because I just shot at where one's supposed to be. Oh, I did! Oh, no, hold on. One, two, three, four. The light just doesn't pop up. So you can shoot them, but the light doesn't pop up. There should be one more somewhere. Yeah, it's uh I I know where it is, but I don't know how to explain it. 
how many do I have of these technology components? I think I'm done. Okay. 64, that should be plenty. Yeah, sounds good. Gotta get back to my ship. Just ship. Apparently you can shoot them while they're still down for the ship. Yeah. That would make it, I mean... And if you could then just fly close enough with a um, with a discovery scanner, that would speed this up significantly. True, yeah. I might have to try that at some point, get out here in a small maneuverable ship, like a Curry or something. Because well, now it doesn't really matter anymore, does it? Oh, I found the last one. Oh, but you oh. still have to. Yeah, 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 we still need to go down. <laughs> we got it at the same time. The sudden realization. <laughs> <laughs> can you, you hold on? Can you drop it from your cargo hold in there? I don't have a cargo. Oh, hold. that's it. gonna be difficult, though. Yeah. Maybe if you like butt plant on it, because I think like the range it needs is pretty big. Do you have a location for us? Uh, oh yeah, sorry. Uh, let me just accept this and I'll post it into voice chat. Yeah. That's a voice chat. And there's two in there, so we'll just take the one that's closer to the star. Yeah. Is it in the right direction? No. Uh, it's 80 light. It's not, but it's not too far. Yeah, just two jumps, that's okay. Okay, see you there. Alright, I'm too far away from the too close to the planet. <laughs> Matt 3 Matt's nice haircut. Thank you. I actually went to get get a cut today. Activate side right. Oh okay, burning off uh But if you, were to, if you want to do that, you would have to stock up on uh, technology components. Oh, sorry, your relics first, if you want to try and drop it. <laughs> True. And if you miss, well, you're not going to get uh, it back unless you go down there and <laughs> take it away. There'll be like 12 of the relics just in a big pile of stuff you miss. <laughs> but if your ship is small enough, you could potentially get close enough. Yeah. And if you know where the cargo hatch is and do it in the external camera mode, if it works, it could be really fun. <laughs> that could speed challenge. that process up quite a bit. Yeah, if you can... And I think you can manage to scoop them up, right? Like, dump fire, dump fire missiles and uh, point defense, and then... Oh, can you scoop from the ground in a ship if they Yeah, tar you can scoop it, but you have to target it. Scoop it, and I'm yeah. not sure if you can target it. Oh, that's true. And if you can, you have to be really close, because on the ground everything, for some reason, has a really shitty signature. Mm -hmm. All right, it's... Oh, it's both on the same planet. It's on the... Oh god, CD. Can really quick. Oh, you already did. Around the CD1. CD1. Oh god, okay, that might it. be a little further, is it? No, oh, it's, no it's, it's not, it's not bad. too bad. Yeah. It's a pretty tightly packed system, to be honest. Yeah. For having... I mean, most of the uh, stars in here are not really stars. Inima says, I'm spending money color matching my main builds. I need help. <laughs> C.S. Wilson asked, I have to ask, is the background a poster 
Or green screen. It's a green screen. Oh, that'd be a huge That's poster. That's a huge motherfucking poster. It's basically your wall. <laughs> Although I have to confess that would be pretty cool. You can see here. Whoop, there we go. <gasps> Exposed. He's not really in a spaceship. I'm not really in a spaceship. <laughs> Immersion breaking. <laughs> Instantly, the viewer count drops. Oh, okay, it looks just a little bit of a. I have to fix that later. Hmm. Actually, you know what? I'll put this in 75% throttle mode ah. and then just let it fly. There's a Guardian structure here as well. Okay. <laughs> it's not a post in a post. It's not a post that all Greece is streaming from the future. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Someone post the best way to build an anti oh, dark and a condo is to buy a crate. Those planets are awfully close together. Oh, they are. I've been looking for a pair of closed planets. Oh, it might just be the angle I was approaching from. Oh, they are close. Really close. Guardian structure, guardian rune. I'm just oh, going to yeah, take they one are. <laughs> You want to try to fly one from one to another? <laughs> that was my idea. Fly from I one planet think, to the other. I don't think that's possible. At I least think it not is. solely in an SF. Oh, with a ship. Yeah, yeah, with oh, the yeah. ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SRV's got to be, that's yeah, got to be a challenge, though. <laughs> Fly an SRV from one moon to the other? I mean, they are like, what? They're not even five megameters away from one another. Exactly. Or maybe they are like ten, seven, eight, if you go from the... Uh, which one are we going to? I'm just going to follow. I'm, just gonna I'm going follow for you. the one close to the northern pole, or on one of the poles, yeah. at least. See it. Starlord says, greetings from Las Vegas. Hello. But five megameters. How much? I guess you have to get a fast ship. Thank you. Uh, oh god. But that's like 5,000 kilometers. Yeah. And if you fly that in a speed ship that will go like boost up to what, 800 ish? Let's say you can do a sustained 800 meters a second. I guess it it's not quite. It's, it's still quite a long flight because that's still gonna be, I don't know, what, six, seven? thousand seconds that's almost two hours but perfect okay window for a live stream <laughs> perfect live stream fly from one planet to the other <laughs> meanwhile eating cornflakes <laughs> <Okay. laughs> alright where are those choosy groups of pylons obelisks Ooh, there's a lot of them. There's a whole lot of them. Yeah. Oh, Which yeah. Which one do you want? Go to? Um, I'm just gonna land somewhere and then I gotta go to the nearest right there. Um, nearest block of them and then find uh, somewhere where I can have at least two active in range at the same time and then take it from Fair there. Enough. Oh. There's a landing spot right behind me here. There, big one. See, I don't land where I just land wherever I want. It doesn't work like that in a ship like this. <laughs> you know, small dinghy like the one you're you're flying around. It's like those smart cars. You know, the the, the car that they sort in half. Yeah, <laughs> where you can where you can park it with the nose directly into the curve. 
Yeah, where other people have to park in sideways, you just go with the front. Because it's so small. Oh, so there's one here. But I need two. Or oh, I want to. Uh, there's probably not possible to get two into range because you have to re. Oh, there's another one over here. Yeah. Here's a good trick when you need to uh, to locate these. You go up and put your external camera above you. Yeah, oh. and drive around. And then drive around. Good idea. See, there's one over here as well. I just tend to listen to the sound. Oh, there's four here. There's another one. So it's one. Oh, no, it's three. I can see three, right? Oh no. There's one down further down the road here, but I, s I want to see if I can find someone or something uh, with at least two. Yeah. Gotta go to that bunch over there. Uh, I don't think it is possible to target more than once at the same time. I found a location before. That was how I got most of the data I have. Oh, I found enough. two where I found a spot where I had two right next to each other, and I just sat there for like an hour <laughs> and just collected data. <laughs> It was boring, but I hope that meant that I didn't have to do this again. Clearly. You were wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. There's one. One next to me now. There's another one. And there's one at the big rock. There's a rock. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's yeah, another the last one, one. This might actually work. Do we have to be that close? Yeah, okay, you need to be very close. Oh, I almost have one of them. Okay. I don't think that works, does it? No. I'm gonna try to move on to... Uh... There was another bigger group over there. There's a small group there. Oh yeah, there's a big one over there. Let's take that. One. There's two, hold on. Oh, it's so far. Yeah, there's two here. What happens if I park in between those? I think that's the same distance as before though, isn't it? Pretty much. Okay, this one is okay because you can you can position yourself so you drive forward and scan one. Oh and then just And then you just reverse. And scan the other. Fair enough. Hey, I got Epsilon! <laughs> okay. Let the board hopping commence. <laughs> Fun and engaging gameplay. Woohoo! You should put a mini game while you load into the game. But what would you then do while you loaded the minigame? <gasps> I don't know, maybe something well, like Star Citizen or something like that? Uh, that's Waiting Simulator, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Waiting Simulator. Gamma. What do we need again? I forgot. I need Epsilon. Oops. But the problem is you can't cross-trade this. 
Yeah. Get out of my beta. Get myself this nice spreadsheet. Need. I think I need epsilon. Lord Wall says, okay, I'm back. Work keeps calling, making me do stuff. Jeez, why can't they just leave me alone while they, while they pay me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't want to waste your time. Well... How did that work out for you? Got beta. Oh, I managed to get off track there. That was stupid. Let's just get this thing back on track. At least there's no waiting counters to log out here. True. Gamma and Gamma. No Epsilon yet. Epsilon is really rare though. It is. I only need three units. So three times... You get three units per scan, right? I sure hope so. <coughs> I have tons of, of pretty much all the other data types, but it's just the uh, Epsilon that's that I need. I'll see how much I have now, and then I'll wait until the next Epsilon pops up, then I'll see what I have. So pattern Epsilon, I currently have 9. So mm. let's try to scan. Come on, RNGesus. Give Ooh, me epsilon. epsilon data. Nope, beta and gamma. At least you won't run out of beta and gamma anytime soon. <laughs> That's true. Or alpha and gamma this time. Ooh, another epsilon. Wow. Uh, oh yeah, Wilson asked if I normally play in open or solo. I normally play it, it depends on what I do. If, I, if I'm recording, um, I'm often in solo, but otherwise I mainly play in, uh, as Lord Wall says, play in the private group, it's called MP underscore Astro. You're more than welcome to send a join request, and then I will uh, admit you after the stream. Or just drop by Discord and, and ask if you need help. There was beta. That's okay, there's no uh, there's no skill requirements or anything like that. There are will be a skill requirement in your Discord, it'll probably be for mining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to have mined at least 5,000 fragments before you. Bring me a hundred tons of painite. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh. I would be the, I would be the most annoying engineer. <laughs> well the worst part being you don't even engineer stuff. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, you need to bring me a, a, a hundred tons of pay night, and then you need to jettison it all at once, so I can see that you actually have a hundred tons of pay night, and then I'll just leave it there in space.
Hey, third Epsilon. I'll just keep scanning until you're done. Oh, that was uh, that was quick. Um, yeah, only someone asked on uh, on Twitch if I can give an overview of the plant build. We can go over the build when we head back towards the bubble again. Um, because right now we are doing the uh, the data collection, but then we can look at the build again. And um, and would it change for any of the other big three? Probably, we, we looked at it earlier on the stream, probably not the Corvette. The Cutter could potentially be interesting. Um, but right now we're still in the testing phase of this. I'm still just gonna try to make a like basic build and try it out. And uh, then I might try it out on the Cutter just to see how it works, but a lot of the modules need to be engineered the same way and I need to unlock this anyway. So um, yeah, but we can look at the build again once, we, uh, once we're heading back towards the bubble after we're done with this. Um, uh, how many Epsilon did we need, do you, do you remember? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't, I need it for something else. I need 21. For what? But I can, for, for the power plan. Or power distributor, one of, okay. one of them. But I'm on an hour right now, so what do you need? I can look it up very quick. <laughs> why, leave, why leave pain out in space? Pain out is the perfect shooting target practice. <laughs> shooting <laughs> practice target, yeah. Oh yeah, I need to, I need to do that next week. Host some kind of event. Private event. Oh, Epsilon! Woohoo! No, no, I want to host a, a. Either we're going to do something oops, in the group or we're going to get people out and do something together. What's next week? Just nothing. Uh, I think... just, just, just another week next week. Oh. Oh, you mean like like a swarm thing, for example? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we already done the crate swarm. The ancient computer who's managing those obelisks is probably wondering why we keep scanning the same shit. <laughs> I just got two uh, epsilons. <laughs> epsilon. Uh, I just got two epsilons data in uh, in one. Two epsilons data. Two epsilons data. I got. As they will that... be hereby known. <laughs> <laughs> I think the data is more than just a bit corrupted though. Yeah, I think hey. we could we could do some uh, some racing, and I could be on uh, on camera duty. That could be that could be fun. <laughs> racing at really slow ships, though. Imagine that it's stock type nine. <laughs> that is so funny. We should do a, a, like a we should do a, uh, oh double gamma. Woohoo! We should head to the the epic mountain range and uh, do a hill climb again. That was really fun last time. It was, yeah. And uh, that was like what half a year ago, yeah, or even quite longer. a long time ago now. You know what? I think I'm gonna 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 do that. That could be fun. What I also really liked was the um, the endurance SRV race. We might do something like that as well. I thought we had that one thing planned for a while or a while back where before the engineering rework happened mm -hmm. where we wanted to go to a like like a two player race with only one people being allowed to have a fuel scoop with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, but that thing died for some reason. I think because the update happened mm -hmm. and no one really was yeah. there. <laughs> and everyone wanted to do engineer and then everyone forgot but that, about it. That doing something like that uh, people asking why they can't subscribe on Twitch. Um, the short answer is because this is being streamed both to YouTube and to Twitch. And if I were to have my F be an affiliate with Twitch, um, I was not allowed to stream on YouTube as well. Because if you are an affiliate on tw with Twitch, you have to be... Uh, the, the content have to be Twitch exclusive, exclusive. So that means no dual streaming. Um, so that's I mean, why. 
yeah so because twitch they are uh, they have a, a clause in their affiliate agreement saying that uh, i'm not allowed to dual stream um i'm not an affiliate no twitch prime subscription from me for you sir <laughs> <laughs> Just Amazon being greedy again, I guess. I don't really get, I mean, what do they stand to lose? Ooh, I got double pack of Epsilons right there. Nice. From one? From one scan, yeah. Oh wait, I have, I got unable to receive data storage full, so something is full. <laughs> Probably Gamma or Delta or something like that. Patton, yeah, Gamma is full. Plenty of room for both. Absolute beta. Uh, alpha is pretty pretty close as well, but. For what do you need the epsilon again? I can't Sorry. remember. There was a module. Uh, I don't think it's for this. I just decided that now that we're getting data anyway, I just wanted to get enough to unlock it. Okay, so you're aiming towards thirty, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's another epsilon. Epsilon there. Yeah, I'm aiming towards, uh, towards 30. Currently at 21, so I need uh, three more successful scans. See, last time when I was actually looking for those furiously, when I tried to unlock those weapons, I couldn't get them for shit. I think I spent like an hour or two just scanning all of this. Now I just got like... 30 of them within 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, that could actually be fun. Find a. Uh, uh, people are saying uh, a race to land a Beluga liner on a 30G plan. But just have. Have uh, people parked in orbit around the planet and then say, uh, last. Uh, everybody needs to land on like this spot. I think you need groups of people to do that, like one in the beluga just falling and everyone else placing himself beneath and just pushing upwards. <laughs> well, that is somewhere where people could very, very easily lose the, lose the ship. <laughs> that is true, yeah. But we could probably cram in at least two events doing a live stream. Um, and I think true, yeah. I think hill climbing is was is usually pretty fun, um, and then either do a a race or an endurance race. I really liked the endurance race last time. That was really fun. Yeah. Uh, do you want to do it up a mountain hill or like? Between... Guessing we're gonna go to the epic mountain range. Oh, in Pomesh. Mm-hmm. Is it in Pomesh? I think it's in Pomesh. It's, yeah, it is in Pomesh. There's some really cool craters in Pomesh as well. Yeah? Yeah, if I remember correctly. Alpha and Beta. Alpha. Come on. Epsilon done. Epsilon, no. I think I think it could be fun to do a, a hill climb and then uh, I will land a, a, a anaconda somewhere on a on a high G world close by and uh, and then basically some everybody else needs to to try and start somewhere in orbit and then land close to that spot <laughs> in stock ship no in any ship oh in any ship so oh. No shields, though. 
<laughs> I was about to say, I'll just take the card and slam full speed. Yeah, you could. I mean, if you go, if you, I'm, I'm pretty sure even on a on a on a, on a high G world, if you yeah. take a cutter with a decently engineered shield and you go full speed into the planet, and you just make sure to move four pips to your to uh, so systems just before you hit the ground, you're gonna be fine. <laughs> Or like a racing ship, something that has enough engine power to actually keep you afloat. Probably have to do like a dead man's or a suicide burn or whatever they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With your main engines. By far the fastest way to get down would be to do a suicide burn, but timing that suicide burn is critical. Yeah, otherwise you're back in orbit. <laughs> otherwise, oh, you're back at the station somewhere. I think I'm gonna see if I can find a high G world close to Pamash. I want to find something that's, uh, I don't know, six, seven, something like that. If we get something up around nine, that would be great. But those planets are rare. There, yeah. There's one in the Imperial Home System, but I don't yeah, think everyone has access want, to it. Want to avoid uh, permanent flux systems. Yeah. A race to get over six SLVs into orbit off a planet. <laughs> <laughs> I think some fighter races would be pretty fun. But as well, those right? two planets that where we are at right now, actually, um, they are pretty close to each other. And I guess if maybe if one of them has a very low gravity, it might actually be possible to get an SLV um, off the ground. With a little bit of help, but I, I I really doubt that you can fly the SRV to the other one. And even if you're going with like what uh, mini like micro. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. You'll only be flying at like 30 meters a second. Yeah, <laughs> gonna take you more than a day <laughs> to get there. Okay, I'm not having a whole lot of luck right now. Me neither. Right now it's kind of stalling. Yeah, still 21. Oh! <laughs> Just when I was saying it's stalling, I get another double. And Lord Wall is suggesting some kind of uh, <laughs> a biaton, not. not <laughs> Land on planet, planet, drop SRV, race to spot, call ship. Fly to finish line. Might be fun as well. But the thing with with speed is always uh, people of engineering ship are gonna have such a huge advantage. Yeah. And I think it'd be better if we either say only those ships, like only stock ships, or many changes to it that don't really affect speed too much. Mm-hmm. But that's why that's why SLV hill climbs are are a good event because no one has an advantage. It's only player skill. I got nothing on this one. I'm gonna try and jump into a private group. I'm gonna open up McQuire's. Uh, this is where did McQuire actually go? I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh he's been playing other games. I've seen him like a month or two there. ago. Yeah. yeah, really rarely though. Yeah. I think I got stuck. Oh no, there's a stupid rock. Right between the two spots. <laughs> You're having trouble with Always. it as well? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Always brings me off course. Okay, just I just got a storage full. That was it. Nothing. <laughs> Come on. It's kinda weird the way Elite handles all the storage stuff. Apparently you can store a whole planet worth of uh, like terrain details infinitely of, of an infinite amount of planets 
as soon as you need some blueprints, there's a limit. Yeah. And I mean, might be some bigger blueprints, but this is like what a thousand years in the future. Data storage really shouldn't be a problem anymore. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't think so. Ah, it's because my both alpha and gamma is now maxed out. Oh. <laughs> Uh, even when I ask, yeah, no Mady for ages now. Yeah, I've, I've been talking to Mady. Uh, he he will be back, but the uh, problem is where he's at he right now, He it, it requires a uh, very unstable VPN to even get access to Discord. I think he's on holiday or something like that, right? No, I think he's actually, uh, of, well, well he's, at least he's working. <laughs> okay, I don't know. <laughs> See. Pattern. Yeah, I have around around forty delta uh, epsilon right now. Nice. I'm fine. If I'm not getting them, uh, not getting them soon, I'll just have to. Uh... Have I don't think it was a module that was critical for anything. Because I'm not really getting anywhere right now. You have 21, right? 21, yeah. I mean, that'd be three more successful scans. That should be doable. Yeah, I just haven't got anything last 10 minutes. Uh, or maybe in the next 10 minutes, that will be a lot. Bit of obelisk. Nothing. Thing is, you, you're not looking for epsilon. You're looking for gamma. Oh yeah, that's right. Looking for gamma. That's that's the way that's the way it works. You heard that, Elite? <laughs> you heard that, R.I. Jesus? <laughs> Frontier, I'm not actually looking for Absalom. <laughs> <laughs> People asking on Twitch which type of modules they're using. I actually completely forgot. I just recall when we were at the station, I was just briefly browsing through the uh, the requirements list to figure out what we actually needed, and there were some of the modules where I needed a bunch of Epsilon data, so I just decided to go and get it now that we were here anyway. Um, hey, got another Epsilon data. Damn it, can you jettison it? <laughs> <laughs> like I'll send you I'll send you an USB, yeah. a USB Yeah, stick. send me a USB stick, I'll pick it up. Do they have Dropbox in the future? <laughs> okay, come on, go gamma, 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 gamma. Gamma data, give me gamma data. And I got Epsilon! Woo! <laughs> don't don't oh, shake it. No oh, uh, damn it, no gamma. Oh, <laughs> uh, what a what a shame! What a shame! No. Damn you, Aaron Jesus! Never give me what I want. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> ah, that stupid rock! I'm getting stuck on it every time. Try to line it up so your wheels up like you're driving on either side of it. Yeah, but could do that. Then I have to go into a little cam. It's not even that big of a rock. It's like looks okay. like. Do this again. Go gamma. Go give me, give me gamma. No. Now I'm stuck in it as well. <laughs> Come on. There we go. I don't think it is possible to kill a Cyclops in a Sidewinder. <laughs> I can't put any weapons on it. Master Lex Brother says... PDTA, love your content, keep it up. Thank you very much. I will. <laughs> I'm not planning to stop anytime soon. Sidewinder bumper cast, last man standing. <laughs> oh, okay. Guardian module reinforcements. I need 15. So I'm done. Ah. I'll hey, do got another. <laughs> I'll do this run and then I'll jump back into. Um, 
the private group, and then we can figure out what we get. I need microcontrollers. I don't know what you need. Uh, I have to look it up. I think microcontrollers are... No, they're not mission stuff, aren't they? No, no, no. They should be... You should be able to buy those. I need to fly back and get another ship anyway. This one doesn't have any cargo space. Now, I can't remember how many microcontrollers I just put. Yeah, yeah, but... Oh, I, I still need another ship. Or do you have enough cargo to bring for two people? I have enough cargo. Then... Oh, hold on. I have, like, a hundred something. Uh, people asking what's the overall plan. Right now we're just finishing up the last material gathering here and as soon as that is done we will head out for some of the uh, commodities we need then we'll head back we can unlock and we can fit the last modules on the blood diamonds so that thing is now well module wise it's done then it is engineering. <laughs> <laughs> People writing you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how much you need? <laughs> Eighteen yeah. microcontrollers for the fix. Twelve for the turret. Okay. It's like it's like your automated sticky notes. I should have made sticky notes before I uh, I left. I even I even. Put like sticky notes and a pen next to me, so I had somewhere to actually write it down. What I just were we talking about like Excel versus sticky notes yesterday? Guess who has an Excel sheet ready <laughs> on the second monitor, which is not really professional, but hey. Okay, now I need energy grid assembly and heatsink interlink, whatever those are. Okay, so we probably need to split up anyway now. We. It seems like it, yeah. Also need phase alloys and heat resistant ceramics. Okay, let's figure out where we need to go. Mm. Get you guys over here so you can follow along. Let's zoom in a bit. Trading, fight commodity. I am currently in what system? That transition is so beautiful. Between the scenes? Yes. That's yeah, really I really cool. like it. Sunufe TP F. Su. I can't remember. Sinu fe, 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 ah, oh, okay, wow. Sinu e fe. Sinu e fe. E fe, like that. No, not you, come on. Why? Oh, yes. you know what? I'll take the quick route back. TP dash A. Take the quick route back. <laughs> okay, wow, I can't even remember. Uh, TP dash F. TP dash F space B four four zero, and we're looking for microcontrollers. Oh, it's all over the place. Nice. Here's something updated two hours ago. You know what? We're gonna take that. And for those of you guys wondering, yes, we are gonna have a look at the build again now that we are heading back. Now we just need to find the first elite to this elite. Heading back to the system. Or heading back towards the bubble at least. Oh, hold on. Was that a large landing pad? Yes, it was. Great. Really hate to get to the system and then figure out it was a small landing pad. Oh. 
Okay. Let's have a quick look at the build, at least as it is planned. Oh, that's not right. It, that's it, as it's planned right now. Um, I'm not gonna go into a terrible level of detail with this, simply because that this is still test level. Um, it's not been finalized yet, so therefore I'm not really going into too much detail. But we're gonna run through it quickly here. Hard points. Um, Guardian Gauss Cannons, I get those. They also the hit scan ones that are good to snipe the hearts, right? Yep. And the shark cannons absolutely rip the um, the rest of the ship apart. So the two hole, of each. Yeah. The hull, yeah, so two of each. Remote yep. release flag launchers, so we can uh, can get rid of those swarms and then Healy beams down here. Um, or thermal vents to do it. Oh yeah, did I go thermal vent? I did go thermal vent, that's right. Healy beams could work as well. I guess. Yeah, if you're although they're not really useful if you're alone. <laughs> no, that's true. the The idea with the build, I'm just gonna get back into the game here. The idea with the build is to try and do something that both will work in a fleet, but also on its own. So over here, of course, we have a uh, Sino scanner, we have a shutdown field neutralizer, and these are all zero A with heavy duty and super capacitor. Just give me all the shield hit points. For shields, we have we have a prismatic shield generator with reinforced and high grade. We have shield seal banks, probably specialized in recycling shell. I've gone with recycling shell here. Not sure if that's the most efficient yet. Um, guardian hull reinforcement packs, because guardian hull reinforcement. No, god, that's not that's not right. So it's supposed to be a guardian module reinforcement packs. There we go. Two Guardian Module Reinforcement Packs, just in case, um, um, just in case something penetrates the shield, so we have a little bit to protect our modules. Um, and then a lot of hull reinforcement packs, and again, we are all going heavy duty deep plating here. Um, Dunkle Aura asks if the is the thermal vent turrets. No, they are gimbaled. At least I planned them to be gimbaled. The reason why I've done that is I've tried turrets with beam lasers before. And when you're fighting highly mobile targets, they have a tracking issue. They have a very hard time keeping on target. Um, so what would often happen is that the, the, your target will move across and then you will have the beam laser chasing it and they will not be able to, uh, to stay on target. Um, but they will be firing. And the problem when you go thermal vent is when you are not hitting, you are taking a penalty. You're actually heating up quicker than when you are hitting. So when you're hitting, you're uh, cooling down very efficiently, but when you're not, you're overheating. And the trick with the thermal vents is also, if you get caustic uh, damage and your uh, ship begins to corrode, um, you should be able to use the thermal vents to generate a little bit extra heat so you can burn it off if you want to do that. Uh, anything else? Yeah, military grid alloy again. Give me some more armor here, and like, I think this is overcharged. Yeah, overcharged and thermal spread. Reduce the heat a bit. Thrusters should be drag drives and dirty, dirty drive, drag drives. Um, frame shift drive, long range mass management. Life support probably light rate. I think reinforced. So well, don't want to get that life support sniped. I guess. And then I actually fitted a Guardian power distributor. Um, because... Hold on a second. Is the tracking problem a PC thing? Guardian. I don't know. I've never, I've never tried this uh, and I've never played, uh, played the game on any other platforms. But at least I just know last time I used turrets on large ships against small targets that they did have a tracking issue. That's the thing with, with turreted weapons against small ships, they can't hit, and against big ships they don't do enough damage. Yeah, because the damage reduction on the turrets is pretty brutal. 
But the reason why I got a Guardian Power Distributor is if you go down here, we can see you have this table by Cargo Hatch. And we are then using... This is all over the place. What's going on? Guardian Module, Guardian Module. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. Hold on. Something is up. Okay, I need to fuel scoop here anyway, so um, I'll just park this in the upper atmosphere of the star and then we'll just quickly see if I can find. Hold on, I'm not reading chat. We'll go back and read the chat in a bit. I just need to find a link for the original build here because something has been changed. Uh, Antigoid Conda notes. Give me a link. Let's open that up. And there's something up here with the power distributor that keeps messing that up. That needs to be a garden power distributor and we need to disable the cargo hatch. And it's still 102.3, I thought it was 103 something last time. I mean, you can still deactivate the frame shift drive, right? Yeah, okay, I guess I could do that. Then I'm down to 100.6% of utilization. But that will be resolved by uh, by just removing the Guardian one and putting an 8, 8A in there with charge enhanced and super conduct conduits like that. Then we are at 100.0%. Is that good or? <laughs> it's red, so I'm not sure. But that's a tight build. <laughs> Yeah, I'm having issues with my cutter, energy-wise as well, my AX cutter. I'm Those... considering if, I mean, what I could do with the power plant was just instead of going thermal spread, is that is that necessary, going thermal spread? Oh, it helps. It's not, like, the most necessary thing, but it definitely helps. Because if I go monster, I would have plenty of power to keep this thing running. Yeah, go for it. And if necessary, it's not the base of engineering changes, right? I might actually do that to start with. Um, okay, I should probably read chat again a bit here. Uh, disable the cargo hatch. We've done that. Lose the guardian modules. They draw too much power. Use normal modules. See what people are seeing on Twitch. We should probably actually move to the next system here. Oh, I'm already back in the bubble. I took the quick road back. Yeah, I'm still eight jumps out. Cut 300,000 credit. Um, okay, someone asked on Twitch how I got this sh the male ship voice. It's actually available in the livery um, options in your ship. And uh, you can buy more on the Frontier store, but you can also just use the two that's available for free, I think. People are suggesting we go for more. More module reinforcement. So these Guardian module reinforcement packs use power, right? Yes, they do. But, uh, yeah, as I said, if you're running a shield build, it's really not necessary. Because, ideally, you won't take any damage while your shield's up towards the modules. You will take whole damage, but no module damage. And Not even if you the shield. 
not even from the swarm. It won't take any module damage through the shields. Okay. I mean, you'll take it if you overheat. Sure. Which we might very well do. I don't. Okay, but as I've, as I've said, I'm like. Um. As I said again, this is uh, just reading a uh, reading chat. Um, this is a very much in the early test phases. I mean, this this is still very much only on paper. I haven't built the ship yet. I haven't tried it out. I haven't figured out. And the goal is to have a ship that that works well, f even for players who might not have um, that much experience in combat. I want to try and make a ship that will make. Fighting Thargoids as easy as possible. It might not be. I'm not. I'm not planning to make a ship that is perfectly optimized to go and fight the what's the highest and called Medusas. Medusa, yeah. That's not the point. The point is to hopefully do something that can at least can can uh, can solo a, a Cyclops and hopefully also a uh, uh, what's the other one? Basilisk. Basilisk. But there's a huge gap between those, so the Basilisk is a lot harder. Yeah. But at least just the um, at least just the the cyclops should be able to uh, to solo. Yeah, they. Sh if you are if you know what you're doing, I I'd argue that you can take them out in a non-engineered ship with normal AX weapons, so not even with guardian stuff. If you got experience with it. Okay, I'm four jumps from this place where I need to pick up the microcontrollers. And that should be fairly close to... Ah, then I'm pretty much in the bubble. The hard part about these weird commodities is always finding them on the commodities market. <laughs> Mike says that if I solo a basilisk, basilisk, that's the highest one, right? No, the Medusa is the highest one. This is the middle one. But you will... basilisk is the second one, yes. Basilisk is the second one, okay. Medusa is the spiky boy. The spiky boy. We're not in Sea of Thieves. <laughs> it's still a spiky boy. Number what? Oh, there it is. But what I don't like about having to go overcharge is the reduction in uh, integrity. In integrity, yeah. Can I? Oh, if I go much. Does that doesn't reduce integrity, does it? I'm not sure. No, it, it increases mass. But does that mean that I would then be able to potentially go four overcharged and like that? Would that be enough? No, it would not. I have Someone to offered you a challenge. You have to now solo a basilisk. Yeah, I saw it. It's a solo, <laughs> solo basilisk. It's gonna be hard in the anaconda, although maybe not. It is. I can do it in the cutter, but I have a lot more shields on my cutter than on my mm. anaconda. But it's also f way less maneuverable, so I might have a harder time aiming for it. <laughs> do it for the rapids, man. The rapids. <laughs> When you're so used to having these long jump range ships that you really only move around inside the bubble, whenever you have to move more than four jumps, I always get uh, impatient. <laughs> Remember 
remember when engineering were in a thing. Mm -hmm. And it took you more than 10 jumps every time you wanted to go anywhere. <laughs> I remember. I remember. Those were the days. Six of those. Make way for other vessels. Oh, it's probably actually change back to the correct scene again. There we go. But it seems like the main the main arguing point that most people have when you're reading chat is this to it's the way the ship is tanked. The way the ship is what? Sorry? Tanked. The shield and... And I guess it makes sense. It's a little bit weird to have that much hull reinforcements on a ship that's mainly... Uh, mainly shield tanked. You do need it. That's the thing. You will still take hull damage. Um... So, just to put it into perspective, if I fight a... Basilisk in my cutter, I'll fire off pretty much all or most of my shield cell banks and come out with like one and a half rings of shields and I'm down to 40% hull without losing the shields once. All the modules are mostly intact. How much, to, have to, to, to how much hull? Sorry? Uh, I think I had 5,000 there on my cutter. Yeah, but how, how many percentage were you down to? Down to 40 or something like that. Okay. I mean, you could say that you can. But I don't want to get. I don't want it to get too close in case I fucked up somewhere, so I don't ditch it. Yeah. So your argument is, if you have forty percent left and with one of the half rings of shield, ah, that's okay, balanced. I mean, then you would you would lose your hold slightly before your shields go down at that rate. Mm-hmm. Wait, what? No? Prickly just wrote to me and said that apparently I got a shout out from Simpits on Facebook. I haven't checked Facebook today. I haven't checked Facebook in ages. <laughs> okay, I'll do that after the stream. <laughs> windows away again so I can actually see chat. Check any dangerous talk. Okay. Oh god. That's a lot of symbols. Holy crap. Oh, get all this away. I don't feel like they have too much to say though. At least difficulty wise. Because I rarely ever, at least in Cyclops, I haven't killed enough, enough Basils to tell. But Cyclops wise, they all pretty much behave the same. Take the same amount of damage and do the same amount of damage. Oh, oh, oh. Gonna try not to ram the guy in the diamond back. New Thakwaj sites, is there anything different than the what 200 other sites that have been located? <laughs> Oh, 
overshooting my landing pad because I'm reading chat. <laughs> Okay, microcontrollers. That's probably... You can buy a mysterious idol. Technology, yes, this sounds like the right place to go. And see, oh. that's what I meant. The hardest part is to find them in the commodities market. Yeah, oh, come on. I think microcontrollers are under uh, 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 what's it called? Technology, isn't it? I'm just gonna buy enough so I also, if I want to unlock the turrets as well. I don't know. Probably not, but I'm gonna buy that anyway. I think uh, the turrets need other stuff. They don't squall, need. Squall Squall says that apparently there's something about a site close to to Meyer. Well, you are very welcome to share it either on directly the chat or on Discord or email or wherever, if you want to. Or just drop by and we can have a talk. Okay, let's plot a route. You're already in. Oh, that's LP. Ah. Uh, yeah, I'm getting materials, uh, commodities. Okay. Ooh. I would agree. If you found a new site that hasn't been discovered yet, and there's something significant there, then definitely, I think that should be put out publicly so it can be uh, included in the research that people are doing. I mean, if you have to uh, to quote unquote solve something like this, I mean, everybody needs to pitch in the data they have. And it seems weird to me that it didn't do. I mean. It seems like there's a puzzle unsolved with those guiding structures. There's the whole map kind of thing that opens up, but no one really got a lot out of it, I think. Well, there's, if I remember correctly, one of the systems, or the pretty much the end of the, the line of breadcrumbs is in the, is in a permit lock system. Oh, okay. At least people assume it's a, it's the end of the breadcrumbs because it's a permit lock system. Or for you just screw up and <laughs> generated this like one of the phases in the permit lock system. And we all know flying there in super cruise won't work. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Maybe that's why they're permit locked, because there's nothing there. It just takes two years for the explosion to reach every other system or the neighboring systems. <laughs> Keep forgetting why I came to the station. Commodities, I guess. Yeah, but which ones? What, uh, what does energy grid assembly sound like? Technology? Or... Not salvage. I doubt it, it's minerals or medicine. Oh, there they are. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, one jump out was in Russia, but I'm there. Pitcher Mitty says, Ash was a big fan of green hair. I, okay, so the, the the reason why a lot of the ships will have a green theme uh, somehow is mainly because of the color of the channel logo. Uh, I thought because of your favorite vegetable. The cucumber? Yeah. <laughs> no, okay, it actually was the other way around. Um, I decided okay. to, to make the ship back back when the cucumber was originally built. It had the, um, the vibrant green, so like all green paint job. And I was just trying to figure out a good name for it. And then I did the uh, one thing that you should never do. I asked stream chat. <laughs> and immediately, of course, Bodhi, my poke face come up, came up and Spacey like space face or something like that. And then people Basically. began uh, making fun of it because it was a big green. And then it ended up the, uh, being the cucumber. <laughs> That's why it's called the cucumber. Uh. And that's why it will always be big and green. But the original color was uh, was because of the channel and the the green accent colors in the logo. And since we are now telling stories about ship names, the Gold Digger was um, was named that during the live stream where I was uh, trying to mine gold, the 200 tons of, uh, of gold you need to unlock uh, Celine Jane. Um, I think it's enough just buying it. You could, but I decided to mine it, and that was that live. So I. <laughs> At the beginning of that live stream, I renamed the ship to the Gold Digger because we were, of course, mining gold. I thought it was fun to call it the Gold Digger. Um, or was that the infamous crash? That was the infamous, infamous uh, crash where I uh, was uh, brutally assaulted by an asteroid that killed my uh, my ship. And uh, since then, it's just always been the Gold Digger. I couldn't change the name after that. <laughs> you have to name it Gold Digger Mark II. <laughs> Gold Digger Mark Two. <laughs> <laughs> then whenever someone asks what happened to the Mark One, let me tell you a story. <laughs> and then we have the mining Python, which is going to be called the Lance a lot because it uses a lot of mining lances. Well, two, but still <laughs> <laughs> a lot. <laughs> which was we were, we were discussing names on. Um, on Discord, I think it was Inera who said, oh, it should be something with the mining lances. And then then it became the Lancelot. With an A, so Lance a lot. It's a bad joke. Join our Discords for more bad jokes. Yes. 24-7. <laughs> more bad puns. You will regret it. <laughs> And that's why if you go and look at my ship builds for the uh, for the cutter, the mining cutter, that thing is tanked and it's tanked to hell because I'm not gonna get jumped by a rogue asteroid again like I did last time. <laughs> and it was actually the first test I one of the first tests I did in the ship when I was out um, giving it its a, a flight test was all pips away from shield, full boost into a rock <laughs> just to see what would happen, and the shield stayed up. Um, so that means that, that, that I'm going to be hard pressed to, uh, to get that thing destroyed by an asteroid again. Okay, let's go and let's unlock some, uh, some stuff. We can actually get... Oh. Yeah. Can you unlock it at Jameson? Oh, they do have a Guardian tech broker, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
good. I can get the shot cannons class three fixed now. Yep. Not this ice for it. And I can also get the turrets if I want to. Screw the turrets. The only use they have is if you want to do multi crew. Otherwise, they're not. The damage they output by themselves is laughable. You'll do more damage even if you only hit like 10% of your shots with the fixed ones. Uh, let me just sell this, I guess. I'm actually going to sell it at a loss. That's fair, I guess. It's kind of weird that my controller seems to be such a rarity in the future. They're pretty common nowadays, aren't they? Very. Okay, the blood diamond. Okay, let's get some new weapons on this thing. So, experimentals, I guess. Guardian shot cannons. I guess they look a bit like uh, frag cannons. Mm, not really. No, okay, not at all. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> they look more like... Like... Uh... I don't know what they look like. I don't know. I it's actually cool it. that they actually did make a separate model for them. Now the gas cannons look similar to real guns, but still have their own all that guardian blue. Yeah, yeah. Fancy, fancy stuff. Okay. Can someone in chat tell me what the hell? Why is this one black and all the other one blue? I don't get it. Is it a graphical bug? What happens if we close outfitting? Open outfitting again. Okay, it is a glitch. It's a graphical glitch. Now they're all blue. I haven't set any fire groups at all, but that's going to be interesting to manage, I think. Um, but I think that was actually all the modules that we need. So now it's actually ready to begin engineering. Look, we're actually overpowered right now here um, when we deploy the weapons. So I probably want to put just a little bit on the power plant now so that at least i can deploy the weapons you don't wanna try them out outside some shooty shooty wait what i already did a little bit of the power plant maybe you used one that was oh i probably had a power one. plant already yeah okay, it already has a little bit in grade four okay you know what i'm just gonna see do i have materials to to make to pull the power plant to grade five Overcharged. Uh, let me see here. Power plant. What the hell is it? Power plant. All the materials, I can easily make this great five.
didn't have to do the great falls, so he just went straight to great five. This is gonna be good. There's three rolls, four rolls, I think. Five and <laughs> six, and now it's not moving anywhere. And seven, not moving anywhere. And eight, and now we're done. There we go. Yeah, the joy of the last millimeter. Benjamin says they should paint this one red for a change. You know what? We're just gonna take this out for a spin so you can see this thing fly. Because this is this ship is called the Blood Diamond, as, uh, as you can see. Red, red makes it go faster. <laughs> Indeed. Yes, I play on PC. So because this is called the Blood Diamond, it of course has a chrome paint job. And the sharp angles on the Anaconda really help towards that illusion. And as the keen eye of you will probably have seen, it has red thruster oops okay, we're gonna take the red side here no we're not he changed his mind you know what we're just gonna move faster oh it's a guy in a corvette but as you can see if we can get this uh camera in the right position here red thruster modifications and then the shiny one and the idea of course behind it is that it's gonna look a little bit like blood coming out of it well that was the idea at least i think it's a pretty cool combination of colors it's poop and blood explosive diarrhea wanna get out of fire zone and shoot the shot cannons. Yeah, let's do that. I might have to actually set up some fire groups here. We should probably form a wing. We should. And we're gonna target lock the station so we know when we are way outside the 10 kilometer range. You can say what you want about the Type 10, the thrusters are really cool. Oh, come on! Bumped into me <laughs> now I... And now I've got a fine. <laughs> oh, really? Make way for larger vessels. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's try the, uh, oh, not beam lasers. I don't want the beam lasers. I know how they look. Okay, I'm gonna try the, uh, the ghost cannons. Don't blow me up. I forgot to unlock the weapons. <laughs> oh. Well, they work. Heat? That wasn't too bad heat-wise. Uh, in my... Keep in mind, you're gonna get a lot more heat stuff later on. Oh, that's the two lower one, of course, yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. Oh, I love this. Can I fire them you from have to go. You have to go in external cam. The way but I can't fire, fire an external cam. Can't? Okay, then look at mine. I don't know why. I used to be able to. Oh. No more energy. <laughs> Even like switches between the left and the right one. Well, yeah, as people are posting chat, this is not efficient against human ships. Oh, this is doing a little okay, bit now. Okay, see, 
There's the problem now. I cannot hit you while you're this close. This one nah, I'm inside right. your fire grate. Right. <laughs> Oh, my shields are not taking a lot. What the hell's up with the? With the? Ah, okay, they are. Oops. Maybe we should put some pips to assist it. What's going on here? What's happening? People asking if I use HOTAS? I do. Okay, so I'm holding down my trigger now for my beam lasers, but they're not firing. Ah! Uh, because, because firing they look arc. Good. Firing arc, yeah. Oh, that's annoying. That they can't fire up, but you have to have keep people outside your line. Oh, now they... Yeah. Am I... Are you shooting me right now? Yeah. Your lasers weren't firing on my screen. They are. Are mine. they treated or are they fixed? A uh, gimbal. Gimbal. They seem to have a huge angle there. Now you're outside there. They are. Hey, I have I have a chrome paint job as well. Just realized. Ooh. See how much shield I get back from a single shield cell bank. Just gonna overheat a bit here. Okay, so I get about a ring per shield cell bank. That's okay. With unengineered shields, right? Yeah. So that's gonna be less than a ring. Which still isn't too bad. I mean, my the the big ones, the eight size eight thing on my cutter doesn't even give me a whole ring. Oh, no. How does? Pretty good rate of fire. Yeah, that's why. Like the these and the what's the other one? The plasma charger do about similar damage. Maybe the plasma charger does a bit more. Yeah. But you can see the rate of fire difference. It's not too bad. On the downside, you have to get close enough to hit all of them. Oh well, I'm gonna head back to the station in a ship that can actually Same. move this time. <laughs> See who is quicker! Should probably put all pips into Good engines bye. then. <laughs> oh! Now I got the fine! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> There can only be one. Oh god! Speaking of bad jokes. <laughs> oh god. He's in there! No, we can't <laughs> stop there! <laughs> can stop wherever I want. <laughs> Move your fat ass! I've not ever got another fight from reckless flying. <laughs> <laughs> hey! I really want to find a use for the Type 10, but I can't find a decent one. 
this. I really like this ship. Uh, okay, let's get rid of this. Fine. A hundred credits. <gasps> I got. I'll drop you a canteen or a fish. <laughs> That's okay. To pay for that. I, I, th <laughs> I think I can pay the, the two or one or two hundred credits it was. Anyway, at least I think uh, I'm gonna call the stream for today. Um, we didn't manage to do much. We just managed to unlock the, the last modules that we need. But next step is gonna be beginning the engineering of it, and then eventually, of course, we're gonna take it down to um, some place with a lot of thargoids and go and begin to hunt some goids and uh, test it out then we're probably gonna take it back do some changes to it and then do that over and over and over again until we find something that i'm happy with um so yeah let me just real quick here uh get everything on screen here i can see what i'm doing so first emsulus thanks a lot for uh, for joining and uh i hope that we can uh can take the ship out at some point and, uh, and test it out. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Very welcome. And I'll just quickly uh, jump over here to the end scene. There we go. So yeah, um, that's it for uh, for today. Next elite, the uh, next planned elite. I uh, can't speak. Next planned elite dangerous live stream is going to be back on the usual time next week, which is on Tuesday from seven o'clock in game time. Um, going forward with about two hours. We're Actually, 40 minutes over time this time, but that's okay. Um, had some stuff to do. So, that's going to be the next stream. I am considering doing some um, other live streams during the week at some point. I'm probably going to look into No Man's Sky. Um, I don't want to do specific videos on it because I'm terrible at Let's Play video. I've tried it several times, it doesn't work. So, I'm thinking I'm going to try to live stream it instead, see if that works a little bit better. Um, and that's probably gonna be sometime during the week. And uh, next week, I'll see if we can get a uh, an event up and running so we can uh, can go out and do some uh, some community stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks a lot for um, for watching, guys. I uh, I really hope you liked today's live stream. If you did, remember to uh, give a like. If you're on Twitch, remember to click the follow button. If you are on uh, YouTube, remember to subscribe. And uh, until next time, I'll see you guys in space.